Bright piano was a rebellion of the great many young black pianists who lived in Harlem against the older ragtime music. And the stride part of it was the left hand. It grew from an octave into, into ten notes. That was one of the features of it. Then there was a constant pulsation of going back and forth with the left hand, not necessarily playing octaves as the uh, uh, ragtime people did, but also uh, filling in this back and forth routine while the right hand played combinations against, against these passing figures. And the great prolific stride pianists then were not satisfied with just going back and forth. They would hit a chord, two notes, and then hit a bass note, especially James P. Johnson would do that. Don't, 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 don't. And so many variations uh, developed. But the stride was a motivating feature, and it was best exemplified by uh, the great Fats Waller. Oh, yeah, it's fun.